Hi there. This video is intended to help you get started with IBM Mobile Quality Assurance Services. You can read about these services on the Developer Works page, and there's even a link or button on the page that lets you try out the service. The first thing you'll see is the login page, but if this is the first time that you're visiting, you'll want to sign up and register an account first. It's quick and easy. There's just a few questions that you have to answer and then you uh, submit your registration or your sign up. The service sends you a couple of emails once you've completed the sign up process and it's important that you go to your inbox and click on the confirmation link in those emails so that you can activate your account. Otherwise you won't be able to sign in until you have confirmed your account. You can now sign in using your email and the password that you set up when you uh, created the uh, account. The first thing you'll see is your home page and there won't be any applications in it initially because you haven't defined any yet. It's easy to add an app. All you have to do is give it a name, tell the service what platform or mobile operating system the application runs on, and optionally invite some other people to work with you on assessing the quality of the app and then register it. Once you register the app the service will show you its overview page with some very important information that you want to take note of. The most important is the application key. You'll want to save this because you're going to use it in the code for the mobile application. You can also upload a build but the most important thing is to download uh, one of the SDKs that's appropriate for your application so that you can begin adding the service calls to your mobile app. There's a pre-production SDK and a production SDK. You'll want to read about the differences on the web page here shown. The basic idea is the pre-production SDK is for use by testers and production is when you put it out in the App Store. Anyway, you'll want to download one of these SDKs and integrate it with your development environment. There's instructions in a tutorial. There are a variety of SDKs and detailed instructions on how to integrate them with the mobile application development environment you're using. We won't go into those details in this short video. The idea is that you integrate the SDK with your development environment of choice and then all you have to do is add a few simple method calls to your application code in order to allow your application to send data to IBM's mobile quality assurance services. Let's assume that you've done that and created a few builds of the mobile app. You can upload those builds to the service and then choose to distribute the builds to various testers for testing purposes. You can distribute the build to some or all of your official test team and you can add additional users for the app to be distributed to just by entering in their email address. Add a useful message and click distribute. Now let's look at what the tester sees on their mobile device. When you distribute the app to them they'll get an email message telling them the latest build is available. In that email is the additional informational message that you sent when you distributed the app and a link to the download page for the app. Tap on the Install button and confirm that you really want to install the app. You'll see the typical download and install activity for a mobile application on your device. Once installed, tap on the application icon to start the app. The first thing you'll see is the Mobile Quality Assurance login page for the tester. Once the tester identifies themselves, you're taken directly to the regular front page of the mobile application. The tester can shake the phone to submit a bug and annotate the screen capture with their fingers. Once done with the screen capture, add additional text to describe the problem and submit the report. One more thing we'll do in the sample app in the demo is simulate a crash so crash log data can be sent back to the service and you can see that as well. Now we'll leave the tester's mobile device and go back to the web page for the mobile quality assurance services and see the information that's been collected off of the tester's device. You can see the bug report that I just submitted a moment ago and drill down into it to get all of the details 
about the state of the application and the device on which it was running at the time of the bug report. There's lots of information captured, including the device type, the network, even the battery and carrier information to help the developer determine the context of the application at the time the bug occurred. Now let's look at the crash reports for this application, including the one that I just created a few minutes ago. Note that the service correlates identical application crashes and tells you how many times the identical crash occurred within your application. There's a short version of the crash data and a much more detailed view. Finally, let's look at some statistics about this mobile app. You can see that the bug reports and crashes are grouped by build, so you can see which builds have more problems than others. And you can even see the device types that have been used to execute tests and submit data, as well as the operating systems that were running on those devices. Well, there you have it, a quick tour of IBM's Mobile Quality Assurance Services. I hope you found this video useful in getting to know the services, and now it's up to you to try them on your own mobile application.